so the renal causes of the uh, acute kidney injury uh, first one is the acute tubular necrosis acute tubular necrosis famous one is first is acute tubular necrosis b is ain acute interstitial nephritis acute interstitial nephritis third one is glomerulo nephritis glomerulo nephritis and especially the focal segmental glomerulo nephritis focal segmental glomerulo nephritis and there can be autoimmune diseases autoimmune diseases like sle and scleroderma so those patients who have got the renal causes of the acute kidney injury these uh, can include the acute tubular necrosis where there is hypovolemic or ischemic or toxic or septic acute tubular necrosis or damage to the tubules of the kidney which then they are destroyed and they get clumped in the uh, tubule of the nephrons and they just build build up the back pressure on the glomerulus which is known as tubuloglomerular feedback a sort of that or part of that so in this way there is dysfunction of the kidney then there is acute interstitial nephritis where inflammation of the interstitium of the kidney is actually developed as a result of the drugs most of the time especially the antibiotics including the cephalosporin and the penicillin and aminoglycoside they can actually cause especially the um, uh, penicillin group and the macrolides group they can cause acute interstitial nephritis thirdly there can be glomerulonephritis nephritis especially focal segmental glomerulonephritis nephritis and there can be acute uh, autoimmune diseases like the sle there can be scleroderma so there are so many autoimmune diseases which can cause this problem now uh, there are very famous drugs which can cause the damage to the kidneys uh, these are known as the nephrotoxic drugs what are the famous nephrotoxic drugs famous nephrotoxic drugs famous nephrotoxic drugs include non steroidal anti inflammatory drugs these can be angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitors are famously known as ace inhibitors these can be angiotensin receptor blockers arbs these can be amino glycosides amino glycosides like gentamicin gentamicin amikacin these can be amphotericin b m4 teresin b and there can be antibiotics for example penicillin and cephalosporins penicillin and cephalosporins there can be con radio contrast agent radio contrast agents so these are many there are many famous examples of the drugs which can cause the acute kidney injury like non steroidal non steroidal anti inflammatory drugs for example a very famous is diclofenac sodium diclofenac sodium but there is a long 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 list of the ansids there can be ac inhibitors with like captopril enalapril lisinopril perindopril there can be angiotensin receptor blockers like the losartan valsartan telmisartan erbisartan there can be any sort of these drugs 
then uh, these actually AC inhibitors and ARBs they affect the efferent arterioles and SIDS affect the uh, efferent arterioles then there can be aminoglycosides like gentamicin, amikacin they affect the tubules of the kidneys amphotericin B again affects the tubules of the kidney penicillins especially the cephalosporins, penicillins uh, these cause the uh, acute interstitial nephritis then th there can be uh, 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 contrast agent which we use in like for example uh, MRI of the brain and MRI uh, of different parts of the body where we use the gadolinium uh, contrast then uh, there can be rhabdomyolysis which cause the acute kidney uh, injury of the renal cause rhabdomyolysis in rhabdomyolysis there is breakdown of the muscle which causes the myoglobin to pass through the kidney which then damages the renal tubules so rhabdomyolysis is another example of the acute kidney injury there is a there are some examples where a student has been punished by a teacher and to do the strenuous phys uh, physical exercise which the students had has never done there is breakdown a lot of lot of a muscle myoglobin is released to the uh, kidney and then while passing through the kidney it uh, damages the renal tubules and the uh, glomerulus and the Bowman capsules area so these are the renal causes of the acute kidney injury now there are some post renal causes of the uh, acute kidney injury post renal causes post renal causes the post renal causes are famously urinary bladder stone urinary bladder stone stone in the ureter stone in the ureter or pelvis of the kidney which is obviously an obstructive reason reason pelvis of a solitary kidney if there is congenitally a kidney is absent and there becomes a stone in the uh, existing uh, kidney ureter it solitary kidney it can cause the post renal uh, obstruction and will develop the acute kidney injury then benign prostatic hypertrophy or hyperplasia benign prostatic hyperplasia hyperplasia or hypertrophy it develops in the male patient obviously after 40s then there can be retroperitoneal fibrosis there can be extra luminal cause of the obstruction retro peritoneal obstruction of the ureter then there can be abdominal compartment syndrome abdominal compartment syndrome which is called ACS this is not acute coronary syndrome but abdominal compartment syndrome so these are the famous these are the famous uh, post renal causes of the acute kidney injury namely urinary bladder stone stone in the uh, solitary kidney ureter or pelvis of the solitary kidney when there is a congenital absence or dysfunction of one kidney then there can be benign prostatic hypertrophy or hyperplasia because the prostatic enlargement causes the obstruction through the nerving of the uh, prostatic urethra then there can be the retroperitoneal fibrosis which can cause the obstruction there can be a abdominal compartment syndrome or the ACS in which there is increase in the in the intra abdominal pressure normally normally the intra abdominal pressure IAP is less than 5 to 7 millimeter of mercury 
but in case of the intra abdominal hypertension it is more than 12 mm of mercury but those patient who do develop abdominal compartment syndrome in them it always exceed 20 mm of the mercury and causes the obstruction of the outlet of both the kidneys and can compress upon these structures to cause the post renal obstruction as a cause of the acute kidney injury and this does happen in the post -op uh, operative cases in ileus in a morbid obesity so there are so many causes of the uh, even in sepsis can cause this problem uh, uh, this is known as abdominal compartment syndrome so these are three famous uh, etiologies of the acute kidney injury now how we are to make a difference between the whether the patient has got the pre renal or the post renal or the uh, renal causes of the acute kidney injury what are the most important uh, diagnostic test how to make a differentiate between all these so if we diagnostic test diagnostic test how we differentiate whether this is a post renal renal or the uh, uh, pre renal causes of the uh, acute kidney injury the post renal cause can be excluded on the uh, uh, ultrasound kub if we get an ultrasound kidney ureter bladder then it will rule out any obstruction as a cause of the acute kidney injury will rule out or rule in any post renal obstruction as a cause of acute kidney injury so if you have a patient who has developed acute kidney injury and you do a simple test of ultrasound kub kidney ureter bladder then you can rule out or rule in any post renal obstruction as a cause of acute kidney injury just to give you an example this is what happened in my own family i have got an uncle who developed acute kidney injury and the creatinine shot up to 13 mg per deciliter and he was simply advised in a district hospital district headquarter he was advised for the dialysis the only mistake which the doctors there made they never passed the foley's catheter so when i visited the patient who is obviously my family relative my uncle i asked them i uh, i just requested them to pass the foley's when they passed the foley's catheter on first day patient passed at least 8 liter of the fluid so he was holding so much fluid that the there was a, a damage to the kidney then the ultrasound which was subsequently performed showed bph benign prostate prostatic hypertrophy as a cause of the acute kidney injury and this patient later on underwent transurethric purp transurethral prostatectomy so it simply on the third day of the foley's insertion patient's creatinine dropped down to 1 0.4 mg per deciliter even without a single session of dialysis so a simple test like ultrasound kub can help actually to diagnose the post renal cause of the acute kidney injury so what other test can we do to actually